Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we were able to refactor our create and list views to use one view that makes it easy to make different HTTP methods or HTTP calls to one endpoint. So in this video, we're going to be adding endpoints to edit, delete, and also view one item. So if we go to our views.py, so over here, you guys have seen the pattern already. In generics, there are different views. So we have the retrieve API view that you can use to retrieve only one object so we can say okay give us an object with id one and then it gives it to us we also have one that can handle the, the retrieve and destroy meaning it can handle the view and also the delete there's one that can handle the view and also the update but also there's one that can handle all of them and this is the one we want so we're going to import retrieve update destroy api view and down here we're going to set up that class to handle the single to do instance so you can say to do detail api view so here we're going to inherit from retrieve update destroy so here one thing we need to tell it is the serializer class of course and these other class properties can be used if we need them so here we can set up the serializer class the permission classes we also want to have get query set so if we wanted to like have a user not see an item they didn't create and we specify a get query set for the object to be sent back to the user it's going to first have to match what this query set is returning and then another thing we need to specify here is the lookup field so we can say lookup field so we're going to be using the id and by the way when you come to our list you can see we are not sending back the id so we can send it back in our serializer so over here we can come in and say okay Make sure you also send back the id what we are doing here is we are telling django rest framework that before it retrieves or does anything with that to do item it should be part of this query set okay so we don't have to really worry about things like permissions if the user is the one who created it this only will be able to handle that for us so i'm going to save this and then add this to our url patterns so over here instead of us now having to put all things like delete update all that stuff we can just come over here and specify that whenever we go to our to do slash the id so i'm going to have it int id here and then now we are going to be we are going to be sending that to our to do detail view so let's rename this here and change this one to to do and save okay so now if you come back to postman I can say get one and you can see that we get that one let's say we say get two you can see that it's using this id to retrieve for us that item okay so let's say now we want to update two we can come over here and make a put request so let's say we now want to say completed should be true sure i think it's is completed is complete yeah Let's say now we want to say, okay, this one we completed it through like that. Let's send. You can see that here we get a 200, meaning it was completed or the record was saved. And all that stuff is being handled within this view. Okay, so let's check if we can delete one. So I'm going to go to the list. So just come to the list. I'll do a get for all. Let's say we want to delete this one. This one with the title. title. So you can see that the ID is one. So I'm going to come over here and put a one and then i will call it delete and by the way you see here how there is a one over there if you put one that doesn't exist you can see that even this use case is being handled behind the scenes so really the django rest framework does a lot of heavy lifting so if we delete this one you can see that now we get a 204 meaning that the object was deleted from the server so that's good so this view now is able to handle everything including having to work with our having to work with the permissions having to create to retrieve one delete one and all that stuff just by hooking it in up like this so that's gonna do it for now so in the next one i'm gonna be showing you how to do things like filtering searching and maybe paginating these lists so that's gonna do it i'll talk to you later